I think a lot of people have experienced maybe bad ferments. Bad experience, yeah, yeah. It's either too sour, maybe it smells funky or something. So to them, it's like, oh, I don't want it. So my way of doing it, I kind of weave it into the menu without people really knowing. Even celery, I mean, most people might just like turn their heads away from celery. Ah, I don't want celery. But when you actually ferment it, it changes to this like crunchy, like tasty, almost like typo tasting, like, you know, little bit that you, when you throw it in there, instead of just salting, um, it actually adds that great like savouriness and saltiness to it. And that's really how I like to cook here also, like, like layering through flavours. And I think fermentation actually allows me to do so. Umami, six flavour. It's very talked about these days, yep. very trendy. The other thing that people are very familiar with, of course, is MSG, right? And you can obtain it very naturally. It's occurring naturally in a lot of like fruits and vegetables that we come across in our day-to-day life. Kombu. Yeah, kombu, okay. I mean, mushrooms, tomatoes. Yep. When you ferment that, that actually becomes very present. You know, without adding like, you know, MSG, <laughs> fake MSG, right? So for me, it's like we, we don't cook MSG here and I find it's a great way to introduce this umami, this tasty factor to like everything, whether it's sauces, uh, whether it's a pickle on the side, you know, and things like that. I think the most basic that we really do here is salting it right. and um, putting it into brine. The one thing that we don't normally think about when we think of lack of ferments, right? When we think of lack of ferments, we always think about vegetables. Mm -hmm. uh, but the other thing that you can also lacto ferment is, you know, their meats, their fishes, and curiously, milk. So like, yogurt is a famous lacto ferment. To me, it's a very powerful tool to create ingredients out of nowhere, right? High value ingredients, yeah. uh, interesting flavours, combinations, using very simple, very naturally occurring produce. I like learning traditional methods of doing ferments and then um, be creative about it. I would say, you know, don't get hung up on what is authentic. Correct. Don't get hung up on what's, what is traditional. Like, okay, like, learn it by all correct, means. Correct. But I think you fundamentally don't need to go out of your way to buy, you know, imported ingredients from so-and-so country. Yeah, especially if it's not native. It's not native here. Singapore. I like to use right? stuff that's here. The hardest for men is the first for men. I think, I think it gets a lot easier from there once you sort of because I think you think too much. You think too much when you when you do your first ferment. Like you think, oh, you know what could go wrong? But just try it, right? Yeah.